had such success with you know, our first heirloom cookbook, we're like, let's, uh, let's do our favorite course of the meal, which is dessert. So this cookbook is the Beekman 1802 Heirloom Desserts Cookbook, and really the inspiration for it was all of those recipes that you always beg your mom or your grandma to make. So you're at college and you're coming home, you call grandma and say, oh, please make your buttermilk pie recipe and they always make it. Our main goal in the photo shoot is to make sure that the food looks like how we would want to present it in the best of all possible worlds in our lives at the Beacon. And actually the entire team that we've got working on this second book is the same team that we had working on the first book, which is very rare. I think food is something live, and I think our job is to trap that life in a moment of time. The actual image has to have a little bit of magic in it, and that could mean um, a mint leaf having little light shine through it, or a little raspberry that's sitting by itself, you know, something that, that tells a story. And that's to us what makes an heirloom recipe. It's a recipe that's not only delicious and easy to make, but it's a recipe that has a story behind it. And the only way you get a recipe to have a story is something that's made over and over and over again. We all want to make this a signature for Brent and Josh. You know, we're always thinking about how this would look in their, in their home. By brushing with a sugar glaze, by tweezing a nut on or off the cake or pie, um, we're trying to make it look very approachable, very real, and as delicious as possible. And what we try to do throughout our books is kind of take that thread of heirloom. So, you know, there might be a fork from Brent, my grandmother's napkin, and Paulette's bowl, and Paul's amazing collection of copper pots that are all heirloom in their own right. When we actually bind the book, we turn it into a book that is meant to become an heirloom in your family, where you can write your own handwriting in it and your own recipes and notes in it. What I love about the recipes in, uh, in this book is that they're very approachable. They're, they're very doable. I think the one that I will definitely put in my back pocket is a delicious cinnamon roll recipe that is formed into a cake. Probably the banana pudding. I'm a little biased about that too. It's my mom's favorite dessert. The blondies, it was um, mac with macadamia nuts. I probably devoured the whole thing without anyone knowing it, so. I mean, there's nothing more kind of flattering and fun to work than to work in a team on your recipes. And as everyone will see, it's going to be the most beautiful cookbook of the year.